on Inside Yale Football, joined by Yale junior Bo Palin. And Bo, first, I think I want to talk to you about just the defense and, and the job the defensive front has done mm -hmm. this year. It seems like in recent weeks, especially, it, it's really a unit that's, uh, that's gelled pretty well mm -hmm. and it's really had a big impact. Yeah, well, I feel absolutely blessed to be playing uh, with other guys in the D-line, Dylan Drake, Nick Daffy, and Chris Dooley, and then the second stringers. Um, you know, they're great guys, and we've just been focusing on doing the little things right every week. We haven't been changing anything huge, but uh, throughout the season, we've just been getting better, started to gel. Um, practices are long, so, you know, we start to tape some candy bars in the scout team quarterback. Uh, no, nah, actually, I wish we did that, but... <laughs> That would that'd probably be a pretty effective tactic. Yeah, it would, you know. <laughs> Bigger guys are pretty simple. Put some food somewhere and we'll chase after it. <laughs> I'd have to try that sometimes yeah. against uh, Harvard, maybe. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so now, talk to me about coming here from uh, the state of Wisconsin and your older brother, mm -hmm. Drew, played here at Yale. And, you know, what your awareness of Yale was and, you know, what made you decide to come here aside from maybe just your brother playing here? Right. Well, uh, first of all, you know, Drew is definitely a big role model of mine. I wouldn't be here or where I am today without him. Um, I owe a lot uh, to him. And I didn't come here just to follow him. Um, I, you know, I was choosing actually between here and Penn and I liked here, I just got the feeling. Um, I liked it here, I wanted to be a part of the program here. Um, and uh, Drew has supported me throughout and so has all, all of my other siblings, look up to all of them in a, in a way. Um, so yeah, I remember coming to Drew's games when I was little. I know one of Drew's friends when he was here was, was Jeff Mraz, right. who was a quarterback, and he told me that you guys, some of the most intense competitions he's ever seen have been, you guys will have competitions to see who the strongest Palin is, and mm -hmm. the competition within your family. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, um, you know, it's ever since I popped out the womb, uh, we've been competing with my brothers and my sister, um, just kind of how we grew up. Um, you know, we have sometimes Palin Olympics in the summer. Drew kind of started that, he kind of compete in different things and see who wins the most. Or uh, on July 4th, we have a barefoot competition, which is water skiing on your bare feet. Um, and the last man standing kind of wins. So, you know, it's a and fun time. What's your record in those competitions? I won the first year. Uh, I was about, I, I was 14, so I was at my prime because I had big feet and I was light. And so I beat Drew in the finals. In the past two years, I've lost to Drew in the finals. Um, and a lot of other people from around the lake compete in it. So this summer, hopefully I'll get them. <laughs> Off the football field, what, talk about how your Yale experience has been. At Yale? Yeah. Yeah, um, it's been great. Um, it's definitely a challenge at times, um, competing with students that are some of the smartest in the world. But you learn a lot from them and uh, feel blessed to be here. Your teammates have said, you know, and voted you uh, in some of those surveys that you've got some of the most interesting activities outside mm -hmm. of football. What, what earns you that distinction? Uh, well, I'm really big into barefoot water skiing. Um, live in a lake in the summer on my grandparents' property. And I think they've seen a couple of videos of me wearing uh, American flag speedo doing barefoot tricks or something like that. So uh, that's probably where, it get, where I got it from. Talking about this, this season now and back to the Princeton and Harvard games coming up, um, what do you think the outlook you know, for you guys is as, as a team and, and working together on, on these next two weeks? Well, I think I was quoted um, after the Penn game, you know, everyone's working their butts off. And to a man, that's true. Uh, that's why I feel you know, really good about this team, about our process that we've established. We're working hard every week, working on doing the little things right. Um, and moving forward in these next two games, I, I think it's going to pay off, and I'm excited. All right. Well, we're excited to watch. Good yeah. luck. All right. Thank you. That's Bo Palin.